handsome, talented, yeah. record company exec, yes. that's us, need a beautiful foxy gal Friday for light typing and hot oil massages. Mariah Carey lookalikes are encouraged to apply. Uh -huh. what do you Amazing. Think? It's not going to be that easy to find somebody with experience who's going to be willing to work with the Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, man? Everybody wants to be in show business. Work out with Kathleen. Don't start with me. I don't even hey, start with me. On. Half a chance. Give her half a chance. Mm. I'll bet you like her. Frankie and Cass had everything going for them until the ghost of Winthrop Pass showed up, all right? Listen, I know, I know you're trying to protect Frankie. Well, someone's got to do it. This is, this is Kathleen's home. She's trying to start over. To pick up what she left off is what you're saying. I talked to Kathleen. She's not trying to get Cass back. Come on, man. I'm not finished. Hey, Dean. I'm looking for Cass. Hi, Matt. Hi. I heard Cass say uh, he was going to stop by your place later. Something about the voice papers? We never get our signal straight. I brought mine over here. Listen, can you tell him if you see him? Right here. <gasps> Kathleen. Uh... Dean and I were just talking about you. Matt, please. It's time man. to take a quick meeting. As long as you ask me not to do lunch. We can't, man. We've got to go over those figures. I don't want to interrupt figures. anything. No, it'll take a minute. It's your time. Please, sit down. Oh. Are you still thinking of working with us? Hey, I'm ready to rock and roll, but I know Dean's a little hesitant. Yes, why would you want to work with newcomers? To tell you the truth, Dean, a lot has happened in my life recently, and... Uh, I'm not ready to get in the rat race yet. Hey, the day I put on the suit is the day I bury this company, and I'm not about to do that. You guys have a lot of energy and enthusiasm, and if, even if DNM doesn't make it, you guys will have a lot of fun trying, and I need a little fun in my life right well, now. We are going to make it, okay? I know you will, and I'd like to help you succeed. This can work. Well... While you decide if you need any help, just let me know, okay? Can you tell Cass I was here? Radio. Thank you. Say hi to your family, okay? I will. Careful driving. Hi. Okay. Okay, what? Do you continue to act like a jerk, or do we offer Kathleen a job? Thank you. Well, Charlize. Is she coming home anytime soon? Well, I sure hope so. Well, I don't uh, personally blame her for splitting. We'll work it out. Oh, you had a visitor today. Who? Well, I'll give you one guess. Kathleen. Wow. Really had to go out on a limb for that one, didn't you? Is everything okay? She said something about dropping her divorce papers off. I thought I made it clear to her that I was going to drop my set of papers over at her place today. I didn't ever get her signal straight. She said the same thing. Oh, we've been together a long time. I'll have to hear that story a little later, Cass. i got to go make a little music history. Look, I know you were angry. I heard what you said, man. I heard you, okay? You made a beautiful couple. That's great. I know how much you care about Frankie. Frankie is my family, okay? I admire your loyalty. Yeah, what about yours? I love Frankie. You got a funny way of showing it. I'm just trying to do what's best for everybody. Especially yourself, Cass. I know what this is about. Oh, yeah? What's it about? It's about nothing, all Your right? Your father walked out on you. So kids. what? About... So what? So now you're afraid that something's going to happen again. No, Matt, you are not my father. Why would I, okay? You got close to someone. And now you're afraid I'm going to abandon you, too. Uh, look, I don't need you, Cass. I'm sorry to tell you. I don't need you or anybody We else, need but... you. Get out of here, man. Dean. You kind of crept up on us, but we've become a family. No, Frankie is my family, all right? I'm committed to Frankie. And I'm committed to you, too. Cass, Frankie loves you, man. She loves you, and her whole life is wrapped up in you. Frankie's my wife. The only wife I want. Does Kathleen know that? I'm trying not to make this too hard on her. Why? Tell me why. She walked out on you, man. She, she, she chose not to tell you that she was alive, didn't she? 
You're right. There's no way Frankie would have ever done that, man. No way. I think you're right there, too. Kathleen gave up her life with you a long time ago. Don't make Frankie do the same thing. Nine straight year in a row with a bullet. It's Dean Frame's Greatest Hits, Volume 112. Yes, sir. Uh oh. The Queen is home. The Queen is home to her castle. <laughs> I missed you. I missed you. You don't know what it was like without you last night. You ran out of leftovers, didn't you? <laughs> Tofu burgers? Not for me. Is Cass home? He's, uh, he's over at Kathleen's. They're swapping divorce papers. Oh. He said that, did he? He said that. <sighs> yeah. Still standing by your man, huh? Call me a fool for love. You know, I know that you got a real rotten deal here. And I let Cass know that, too. I want you to know that. You two had a fight about me? Nope, nope. Cass would not argue. He knew I spoke the truth. Having you on my side really helps. You always got me. For whatever that's worth. You're the best. <laughs> yeah. Listen, Frankie, I, I could be coming into a lot of money soon, you know? What do you say we get ourselves a better lawyer and take Cass to the cleaners, huh? Cass and I are going to be fine. Well, I hope so. He hasn't broken a promise to me yet. Mm. You know, um... Today, he said that, that we were family. Did he really say that? He did. And I would really hate to lose that. Yeah. So would I. Mm. It's gonna be okay. Mm. 